I must go to this day. My grandfather stepped down and decided he wanted to retire. So he handed me the keys to the farm, but I found out it had a $1.5 million debt over his head that I need to pay off in five years. Will we fail? Will we succeed? Find out today's video. Alrighty, so I just got done with windrowing that entire field up. So we did finish mowing it and make sure we got it fully windrowed and ready to rock and roll. Now we just got to move on over to the baling portion and it is going to be a fine morning this morning. Kind of did get started a little bit later than I do like normally to do, but hey, 12, 12 o'clock in the afternoon, better than no time. So a lot of the boys should be getting here pretty soon. I'm not too sure when time they'll be here. All I know is they said they'll be here at some point during the day. I went ahead and bought a new pressure washer for the farm. Our old one, I couldn't find it. And so I needed one ASAP. It was only four grand. Maybe my grandfather took it with him. I don't know. After he kind of got done, he went in and took a lot of the equipment his way. All right, we'll go ahead and hook up to uh, the uh, round baler. We're not going to do any small square bales just yet, especially since the first run, we do want it to be kind of the best quality bales we can get. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Huh, I don't have a diesel tank around here anywhere that's not good looks like it's time to go to the store already and go return what's left of the seed we had and on top of that return this seed tender as well everything is already planted that's corn that's corn that's corn and the rest is beans like it should be or wheat one thing i definitely do love is heading directly into town here and we are almost at scotch supply we're gonna go ahead and drop this off and then get the diesel and head directly back to the shop because we have plenty of work to do today and i'm excited to get everything done which actually we might end up going ahead and giving them a quick call here a little bit later to see if we can get them to come out with some lime and start dumping in some of our field interests go ahead and return that we'll give them a text later on see if we can actually change that for some lime because i want to put down lime on one field that's already planted to kind of see if there's going to be any of a difference in the yields so we are going to stop at the bp kind of pick up some diesel inside of it which actually our main truck needs some diesel as well and we're also going to go ahead and buy diesel with the trailer that's going to be 660 gallons of diesel and that right there costed us nine thousand dollars which hopefully this right here does last us long enough on the farm i don't know how long it's going to last but it should last us long enough the first thing we need to do is get to either harvest or something Thing like that but one thing we're definitely going to look at doing is possibly getting an extension on our loan by another 100k and just guaranteedly pay that off at the end of this year because right now it looks like if i want to do this lime experiment especially to just go ahead and see what we can get done i'm going to need more money and more money is going to be the main goal so one of the fields that definitely want to try it on if we do end up going with it would be our cornfield right here i want to try on a cornfield and a bean field so I want to probably do it on our two biggest fields, see if we get any kind of yield bonus. And definitely at the end of this year, kind of put lime on. It's just, I want to go into it and do the right thing first. But before we do that, even think about putting lime down, let's make sure our tractor here, or the tractor I always see myself in, has some diesel in it first. There we go. We're good to go now. We'll go ahead and turn back around. I really need to open up that gate over there. Not doing it yet. Let's go ahead and get this field bailed, picked up, and put away. We don't got to worry about that, and that's another job ticked off on our list and hopefully by the time we get this field up here done we'll be looking at already figuring out if we are going to be doing the loan or not all righty we're producing the first bale and that looks like a bale to me i want to get out and make sure she's compacted right we ain't got to worry about nothing okay the net looks pretty good to me we ain't got to worry looks like the old 535 is doing pretty good as long as this baler keeps doing his job we'll keep doing ours and well it took no time at all to get all that done we did end up with a total of 16 new bales which is what i'm talking about right there we're gonna back this up a little bit actually kind of give that room over there because we are about to start moving bales and the best way to move them is with the telehandler now of course with this all just being hay bales we're just gonna put them directly in the barn and use our old stock before we use the new stock kind of situation all right just gonna simply spike both of those and go ahead and put them over here out of the way so we got to move all 16 bells which if we do two at a time like we're doing right now will only be about eight trips which isn't that bad i do need to start lifting these up a little bit more i know it's a little bit more dangerous but i gotta see where i'm going there we go we got four out of eight in there i mean four out of 16 let's get all these in there shouldn't take me too much longer 
You get all this stuff. All right, we're just going to go ahead and take these last two bales right here on over to the bale storage, and we'll have all 16 bales picked up. I kind of lost some of the bales there, one of the bales there for a little bit. Well, let me rephrase that. In my mind, I lost one. Somehow I found it. I don't know. I don't understand it. One of those days, people. But we do got the good news now, and that is we are officially done with that. We have all 16 bales inside of there. And before we put that up, just kind of check and make sure the animals are good. Yep, all right, just looked at the animals. All the animals are ready to go. None of them need any food as of right now. So since nobody needs, oh, never mind, never mind. I need this. So since we do not have a wheel loader of any kind, I'm just going to use the JCB. We cannot afford a wheel loader at this time, so we will be able to use the JCB. But it's just it's got this nice little bucket on the end. So I have to go immediately over to the shop house and kind of make some phone calls, see what we can do about getting a semi-truck load or two of lime to some fields. I want to at least probably get one for right now to the main field, which is going to be the cornfield and kind of go from there and see if we need more or not. But to do that, we also need to talk to the banker to kind of see what the banker can do for us and help us out with it all righty so what we're gonna do we're getting a loan for 100k we're doing a five-year period i know we're like oh that's a lot but if we do a five-year period on it it allows us to go ahead and take it out with only a thousand eight hundred dollar payment every month which is honestly just barely enough to make it to this we do have a twenty thousand dollar payment we have to pay every month for the other one and we'll go ahead and call the cup get them to deliver a load of lime to one and then get ready for another one because we should have it in here let me take a look yep we have a wilmar super 800 love this thing to death this thing should hopefully work still if it doesn't we are going to be in a massive trouble because some of those bigger spreading machines over there at the co-op they do cost money unlike some of the things we get free like if it's like a tax or a tractor we get those for free but if it's a big spreader we have to pay for those still so let me get them the calls let's get it done let's get the loads in the field ah look at here and that they are coming down the road as we are as well no better timing than as of right now so we'll go ahead and pull on into here and we'll kind of instruct them we're probably going to put it like right there out of the way of everything kind of close to the fence so i'm gonna go ahead and have a conversation with them real fast and tell them where to put it and if they can't put it there i'm gonna put it there myself all righty she told me just to go ahead and put it wherever i want so i get to use her fancy dancy volvo truck and i just say this is a nice truck i wish we had one of these on our farm instead of max good lord a nice trail like this would be really handy. Yep, and there she goes. She's heading down the road again, and we are going to get ourselves to some work. So I will say, since we're having to dig so much out here, they're probably not going to be so much of a good corn growing right there, but it shouldn't hurt too much. All righty. Looks so like we got this thing full. I'm going to do a little bit of the work before I do set one of the guys to it. I just kind of want to do this little bottom area down here and just kind of see. Oh, yeah, we're going to have ourselves a wonderful time. All righty, so I just threw the drone up. We're going to kind of go take a look, see what we can get done. And, oh, you see her working over here in the distance. I speed it up a little bit. Man, if that don't look good right there. A good old Case IH putting down some lime in a field. Oh, that just looks so good. I just wish it would have went all the way out to the edges, but hey, I'm not going to complain too much if we miss some of the edges because honestly, that's where your worst yields are, so I can live with it. Now, if you start skipping stuff in the middle, that's where we're going to have problems. So as you can kind of see here, we're taking this from about a 5.75 and a 6, and we're taking it all the way to a... 6.25 or a 650 in some areas you have a little bit better i mean we're taking it to seven in some areas not 7.25 thank god but we are doing this with a lot of good favors by putting that lime on now so a lot of these other fields we're not going to put lime on just yet honestly this lime right here with how little we're actually applicating i thought we were going to be putting more on with how little we're actually putting which right here should do at least a bean field and maybe another corn this lime is definitely a really heavy, dense material. So I'm having to make sure to pick it up very carefully because if I don't, it will just throw my entire machine over and I'm gonna end up having a really bad day if I damage this thing too badly. All right, and now we just gotta sit back, relax, and kind of do this. Just the liming is pretty much the last things we have to deal with now.
so I gotta do one quick jump. I'm gonna unload this one in there real fast just because we have like a few more feet over there that we have to finish up and that is more than enough so we ended up doing exactly what i said and we did not use nowhere near all of it so we are going to actually take hmm, we, we need to load it into something or just do a bunch of trips i really don't want to do the trips let's load this up first and i'm gonna get the workers to go ahead and take this up to the field and get started i'm gonna get them to go up to field 32 so that we don't have to worry about that either all righty so there goes the tractor down the road i'm actually gonna run back to the farm i think i have an idea that we can use all righty so right now we're taking the brant over here we're going to use the brant to load up this what's left and take it over there to the other field i think the brent is honestly the best decision we could make i don't have another done one so we're gonna make it work we'll say i'm definitely starting to regret this this corn down here if it even germinates at all i'll be amazed but how much i'm just having to continuously back up over it to keep loading this wagon all right let's go and close these gates up real fast gotta close them up so i can get to that last little piece yeah so we have used a good amount but we haven't used it all yet. We at least didn't use an entire load of this. All right, let's go ahead and get this stuff on the road down there to the other machine because he is going to need this stuff as soon as we can get it down there. So even as much as I don't want to, we are, we are going to head up to our field 22 to kind of lime that area. Hopefully it doesn't take too much alignment or too much time to lime it, honestly. But I was kind of looking at what we did over there. We didn't even use 50% of that. So there's a chance with one full truckload, we could honestly lime everything all of our stuff go ahead and get ready to shut this off up here there, there we go i can tell you i'm living in love with that kind of a situation yes it may slow us but hey i would rather do this than have a clean up especially right here in this place we have no real place over here to let our lime just sit on the ground so we can load it properly but now we have a place that we can do this stuff I did go ahead and call one of the girls to bring us the fuel trailer. They'll be here in a few minutes. I don't imagine we'll, be, I imagine we'll be about ready to pack up once they get here. But a, hey, if we can at least fill up and send them back to the shop, I'd rather do that than at least have that tractor run all the way back to the shop just for diesel. Alrighty, looks like the girls are here. Or looks like the girl is here. So we'll go ahead and fill up the old uh, tractor, and then we'll probably fill up the other tractor and send them back on their way. Send them back to the shop, let them get more of that paperwork done. We're not going to lime every single one of the fields, so I'm going to leave this field down here as beans, and I'm going to lime this field as well. So this is going to be corn. It's not going to be limed either. It's just we don't need to lime everything because we need to know what the actual yield differences are or did we waste the money kind of situation and we because once we do this harvest, we won't necessarily need to do another one i don't think all right all three of us are heading down here we're heading to the last field that we are going to be putting the lime on after this whatever's left i'm gonna go see what we can do about selling it back i don't really know what to do it's one of those iffy situations where do we keep it if we do where do we put it we don't really know what to do right now and just like that we have our last field of corn and that we are going to be liming now this is of course right next to that field I know we kind of did a loop and that's what I was wanting to do is wanted to start here, go all the way over there to come back to this field. It helps us round out the day. Perfect. And actually here come the boys now. So we got the spreader coming first and I can only imagine the limer. I can imagine the 8110 is a little bit further behind because it the tractor struggles. It doesn't, I don't know what about it. Doesn't have the power it should and we might want to look into eventually replacing that tractor. So that over there holds about 10 yards. And we got 14 in there. I think what we are going to do is once that's done lime sprinting, we are just going to go ahead and fill it back up and whatever's left. It, it, this is a trick. We have lime. So we're probably just going to go return it. Would be the best thing to do is just go return what we don't use. And yes, I know I probably should just keep on putting lime out, but I really want to see the yield differences in the tests just to kind of see a little bit more information on all of it. All righty. We are off. I'm just going to turn it off because this is technically our homeland. And nobody should be down here unless it's one of the farmers. And I don't need to really warn them that I'm a slow moving vehicle. God nab it. Ah. So just so people know, it should not be side to side like that. It should be straight up and down like this right here. Oh, that explains a lot. But when did you break? That's a question. <laughs> oh, no. Gonna go ahead. Oh, yep. There it went. 
There she went. That's fantastic. So that looks like something we got to fix now. That's never something you want to just see there in the middle of working. Oh, that's... Ah, that's a Brent gravity wagon just gone. Only saving grace is we can now at least wash this off. Let's go ahead and wash off the spreader and then we'll wash the tractor off as well. And we have a lot of pieces of machine to go ahead and do that. I've actually got to get the girls to call and get that right there put back, uh, given back because I keep forgetting to do it myself. Man, just seeing that makes me so mad. Just now, just knowing that now I've got to order the parts for that to get that fixed. Cause now the bad part is it's not like we, we can wait on it for harvest season. I don't care for, for harvest season. It's the fact that animals, we can't feed our animals unless we have it. I'm going to go switch this out for some forks and we're going to try to stabilize it a little bit better. Ooh, actually I have a better idea. We don't even need that. I knew there was a reason we had one of these. Ain't gonna lie, I kind of forgot we even had one of these. All right, let's take this over there and see if we can use this to kind of prop it up so that we're not just continuously breaking more and let it keep bending the metal. If there's any metals that we can save, let's save it all. All right, there we go. We'll just leave that right there, kind of supporting it. Hopefully we don't bend the frame and that's my main objective right now make sure that frame does not get bent whatsoever all right so the girls went and called them to get that real fast they've already got it and went next thing we gotta do is go ahead and wash off the rest of these planters we should be good after that probably our next things we'd be worried about here on the farm will be spraying for weeds and on top of spraying for weeds maybe harvesting some wheat as well that would be probably our next step so ladies and gentlemen while i'm cleaning up the tractors getting everything look nice and pretty and putting them away i appreciate y'all so very much for those for showing me my entire channel here i'm loving this series hopefully y'all guys are as well and ladies and gentlemen no further ado we'll see y'all in the next one for me the entire team peace